Good morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and welcome to a little day in the life of vlog. You guys pretty much saw my morning. I've already had one client. I'm about to make a quick breakfast because I gotta get my workout in before my 10 a.m. client. But without further ado, make sure you're subscribed and let's get into it. All right, just finished up my bagel for breakfast and we're about to get into a hamstring and glute lift. I actually took a deload week last week. I pretty much did long walks and bodyweight workouts the entire week because we finished up one of our long distance runs the Sunday before and my body was feeling it, specifically my knee and it was the same knee that I hurt in college. So I was like, you know what? Let me listen to my body. Let me actually take some rest because I rarely do. And I'm feeling very refreshed. So this is actually gonna be one of my first like weighted workouts and like proper lifts back. So I am very excited, but it's also gonna be a quick one because I need to finish up this workout and get in the shower before training my 10 a.m. client. So we're going for efficiency today. I love being efficient. And that's exactly what the goal of today's workout is. Getting back into it, efficient little leg day. a 15 minute incline walk but I literally have 18 minutes until my client so I get a lot of questions about what shoes I wear during my workout so instead of walking I'm going to quickly run through that I love lifting in my APLs honestly I would probably lift barefoot but I'm such a klutz and I'm always like tripping over things or dropping stuff on my feet so these at least offer a little bit of protection and they are pretty flat so like I feel the lifts where I'm supposed to feel the lifts because they are such a flat shoe so I'm a big fan of the APL Tech Loom Breeze I do need a new pair because these are so freaking dirty where I need to learn how to wash them so if you know how to wash white sneakers let your girl know I'm sure it's pretty simple but I really need to do that and then when it comes to running I always always run in my Nike Zoom Pegasus these are the shoes we got in college and I am just obsessed with them however only people with really narrow feet like these if you have wider feet you will most likely hate them but I have super narrow feet I've always had very narrow feet and I know like technically narrow shoes aren't good for you your feet need room to breathe but like I was always barefoot my entire life. I was a gymnast, like literally always barefoot and my feet haven't widened at all. They're just naturally very narrow. So I thrive in the Nike Zoom Pegasus. I just love them. However, I'm thinking about getting some Hoka's for like long distance runs because I feel like they're just like a little bit more cushiony and my joints probably need that when it comes to long distance. But anything like 
shorter distance, probably even like up to eight miles. I'm really fine in these, but once I get into the double digits, my joints really start taking a beating. So if you have hokas, please let me know if you like them because I'm seriously contemplating getting a pair for some long distance stuff. Anyways, that was an absolutely incredible workout. My legs are dead. I'm gonna need to do some type of recovery later on today because they are feeling it. Like that was a shock to my muscles. But I need to go shower and then train my 10 a.m. client. All right, it's literally 10 a.m. and I hadn't eaten lunch or like anything besides a bagel and a protein shake. So very strange for me, but I am having a second breakfast. It's not strange because breakfast is my absolute favorite meal of the day, but typically I would have my omelet and my bagel or like my omelet on an English muffin in the morning. But since I was in a hurry, I just had a bagel this morning and I really can't go a day without an omelet. So I made my omelet for lunch and I actually posted a TikTok and an Instagram reel about how I make my omelet because strangely, I get so many questions about it, literally every single day. So if you're curious, go check that out. I'm gonna eat this for lunch. It was between this and like a snack plate with some turkey, celery, hummus, fruit but we are all out of fresh fruit besides this pineapple, which it just isn't quite ready to cut up yet. So I'd rather wait so that I can enjoy it when it's like at its best. Instant versus delayed gratification. I'm practicing delayed gratification. If I wait just a little bit longer, this pineapple will taste so much better. That was quite the little like tangent there, but we're gonna have a little omelet for lunch and I'll probably make a smoothie sometime soon. Long time no talk, it is 5 p.m. Right after we had lunch, we actually went on like a very impromptu lunch break and we went to the beach, walked for not even 30 minutes and then came back here, jumped in the pool quick and then got right back to work. We weren't even gone for an hour total, but it was a very nice little way to kind of break up the work day. So since I've been home, I've just been grinding away on some client programming, YouTube video editing, answering emails, and working on my own program. I kind of hinted at it a few vlogs ago, but I'm changing up my split for some new goals that I have, and I'm still kind of working on finalizing that. So that's kind of been very fun to work on, but I do need to work on my clients' programs before I get to my own. They come first because that is my job. So that's just like the not so glamorous side of being a personal trainer, just tons and tons of computer work and programming, but I personally feel like it is super fun work. So hopefully if you get into this profession, you think that programming for clients is super fun because 
you're gonna be doing a heck of a lot of it. But that is what has been going on. I just had a quick protein bar. I'm gonna prep dinner soon because I do have my aunt on FaceTime at 5.30. She's my last client of the day. And I have to say, she is one of my most consistent clients despite her crazy busy life. So I'm extremely proud of her. All of my clients are pretty much extremely consistent, but like her consistency really surprises me and I am just so freaking proud. But we're gonna be having salmon for dinner, salmon, rice, and asparagus. So get excited for that. I am actually excited because I love all of those things so much. Hence why I'm always having salmon in pretty much all of my vlogs. But I need to get back to work and then prep dinner and then train my aunt. So I will see you guys when I am having dinner. Clearly I am fresh out of the shower and I figured this would be the perfect time to go over my nighttime skincare routine. And it's really nothing special, but I always forget to show you guys what I do. So anytime I'm washing my face, so in the morning, post-workout and at night, I really don't even wash my face in the morning. I just kind of get it wet with water. But whenever I do wash my face, I'm always using the phrase skincare purify me. This is the only skincare line that I use because it is skincare that is made for women who are super active, whose skin sweats and is exposed to sun all the time. So I am just like their target audience and I am obsessed. So this is the face wash that I always use. And then for any of my showers that are like in the morning or midday after a workout, I always put on the Frey See Me. It's like a vitamin C brightening serum. It smells incredible. It's like a very dry oil. And then afterwards I put on Protect Me. This is their SPF 30 facial moisturizer. It's also sunscreen since it's SPF 30 and it is just the best and it's not like super thick It doesn't cause breakouts like it is just the best Cameron uses this too Like this is my go-to face sunscreen. It is all that I use on my face And then when it comes to like my evening moisturizer, I actually just got this in It finally came in the other day because I ran out but it is the Frey Skincare Recover Me and it is their restorative night cream. Hence why I use it at night. This stuff smells like so calming. I think I talked about it a long time ago, but I recently ran out, had to get a new one and it is just, it's the best nighttime moisturizer. But yeah, it's just a little cream. I just do a tiny bit. I don't go overboard with face products at all because I don't know, I'm kind of blessed. I seem to have pretty decent skin, like it's not super oily or anything. So, oh, oh my gosh, I forgot how like calming. It literally smells like a spa. Wow, this stuff is incredible. But yeah, there's my super simple nighttime skincare routine. Literally wash my face with Purify Me and then I put on Recover Me before bed. And like I said, I use See Me and Protect Me if it's throughout the day. I'm obsessed with Frey. I've been using their products for well over a year, maybe even two years by now. And it's literally the only skincare products that I use. My mom uses them, she's obsessed. A lot of my friends use Frey, like it is just the best. I don't know why I just put this back in the box. But yeah, there you have it. I am going to wrap this vlog up here because it is 8 p.m. and I just wanna watch an episode of Suits and go to bed. So that is exactly what I am gonna do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.